listen to Kovai Vani. Enjoy the podcast by our enthusiastic young residents. Kovai Care is the best place to retire. Vanakkam, Namaskar. A few days back, a news article made us sit up and wonder why the world is so unequal and how the underprivileged and impoverished continue to survive the wide inequalities in economic, gender, health and other social parameters. This podcast is going to outline some stark statistics about the unequal world that we live in. We have extracted the statistics from a report published by Oxfam recently. Oxfam is a British founded confederation of 21 independent charitable organizations focusing on the alleviation of global poverty founded in 1942 and led by Oxfam International. We are placing this before you as we feel it is useful to understand and appreciate one more aspect of the world we live in. Economic violence. Extreme inequality is a form of economic violence where structural and systemic policy and political choices that are skewed in favor of the richest and most powerful people result in direct harm to the vast majority of ordinary people worldwide that people in poverty women and girls and racialized groups are so often disproportionately killed or harmed more than those who are rich and privileged is not an accidental error in today's dominant form of capitalism but a core part of it Oxfam estimates that inequality is now contributing to the deaths of at least 21,300 people each day or one person every 4 seconds this is a highly conservative estimate for deaths resulting from hunger in a world of plenty the denial of access to quality healthcare in poor countries and gender based violence faced by women and rooted in patriarchy the widening gap the fortune of the world's 2755 billionaires exploded during the covid-19 pandemic their fortunes increased as much in 24 months as they did in 23 years before since 1995 1% of the people have captured nearly 20 times of global wealth than the bottom 50% of humanity a new billionaire has been created every 26 hours since the pandemic began the world's 10 richest men have doubled their fortunes while over 160 million people are projected to have been pushed into poverty meanwhile an estimated 17 million people have died from covid-19 a scale of loss not seen since the second world war the richest 10 men have greater wealth than the poorest 40% of humanity combined elon musk the richest man in the world could lose 90% of his wealth and still be in the top 0.001% of the world's richest people his wealth has increased by 699% since 2019 it would take 112 years for the average person in the bottom 50% to make what someone in the top gets in a year gender difference gender inequality in numbers Women make up less than 24% of the world's parliamentarians and 5% of its mayors. On an average, women are paid 24% less than men for comparable work across all regions and sectors. Nearly two-thirds of the world's 781 million illiterate adults are women, a proportion that has remained unchanged for two decades. 153 countries have laws which discriminate against women economically including 18 countries where husbands can legally prevent their wives from working worldwide one in 3 women and girls will experience violence or abuse in their lifetime before the pandemic it was estimated that it would take 100 years to close the gender pay gap now it will take 136 years 1.4 times women are more likely to drop out of the labor force than men. 
women take on more than three times unpaid care work than men. 67,000 women die every year due to genital mutilation or murder by current or ex-partner. Health and vaccine inequality. An estimated 5.6 million people die every year for lack of access to health care in poor countries. Hunger kills over 2.1 million people each year at a minimum. By 2030, the climate crisis could kill 231,000 people each year in poor countries. G7 countries have received roughly one in every five doses, that is 2 billion, distributed so far, while low-income countries have received just 0.5%, that's just 33 million. The cost to the economy of failing to vaccinate the world is estimated to be $9 trillion. Providing a vaccine to everyone on earth is less than 1% of this cost. Vaccines created 9 new billionaires with combined wealth greater than the cost of vaccinating the world's poorest countries. Having more money in your pocket not only buys you access to health care, it also buys you a longer and healthier life. For example, in Sao Paulo, Brazil, people in the richest areas can expect to live 14 years longer than those who live in the poorest areas. Environmental disaster. The richest 10% accounted for over half, that is 52% of the emissions added to the atmosphere between 1990 and 2015. The richest 1% were responsible for 15% of emissions during this time, more than all the citizens of the European Union and more than twice that of the poorest half of humanity, that is 7%. During this time, the richest 10% blew one third of our remaining global 1.5 degrees Celsius carbon budget compared to just 4% for the poorest half of the population. The carbon budget is the am amount of carbon dioxide that can be added to the atmosphere without glo causing global temperatures to rise above 1.5 degrees Celsius, which is the goal set by governments in the Paris Agreement to avoid the wor worst impacts of uncontrolled climate change. Annual emissions grew by 60% between 1990 and 2015. The richest 5% were responsible for over a third, that is 37% of this growth. The total increase in emissions of the richest 1% was three times more than that of the poorest 50%. But we can radically change and redesign our economies to be centered on equality. We can claw back extreme wealth through progressive taxation, invest in powerful proven inequality-busting public measures and boldly shift power in the economy and society. If we are courageous and listen to the movements demanding change, we can create an economy in which nobody lives in poverty, not with unimaginable billiards wealth, in which inequality no longer kills. Thank you for listening. This podcast was brought to you by Devati Bhaskar and Krishnan on behalf of Kovai Varni, Coimbatore. Thank you and stay tuned.